Hi, do you want to use the most used AI art generator with all its features? That is Table Diffusion. Well, you are in a treat today because now you don't need a super fast GPU enabled PC for running Stable Diffusion. We can freely get some processing power from Google to run any model of Stable Diffusion. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do it in two minutes. I've generated all the images shown on the screen through this model. I'll share the prompts with you as well. So let's get started. The only thing you need is a Google account, which I don't think anyone doesn't have today. So open your browser and search for Fast Stable Diffusion Google Collab. The very first link you are going to see is of a Google Collab Notebook. Now, what is a Google Collab Notebook? You can understand it as a small piece of code written to run on Google Collab server. Several notebooks for running various things are freely available on the internet. We are going to use one of the freely available notebook today for running Stable Diffusion. So open the very first link that says fast underscore stable underscore diffusion underscore automatic tetra one dot ipymb. This file will automatically open up in Google Collab environment. Before doing anything, copy this notebook to your Google Drive folder so you may easily access this later on. You can do this by clicking on this button. It will open up in a new window. Close the original notebook. We don't need it anymore. Now click on the run button against the first piece of code called a block. This will create a folder where stable diffusion things will be downloaded and placed. It will ask your permission to use your Google Drive, so just allow it to use. Once the block has been completed successfully, you'll see a green tick besides it. After that, run the next block by clicking its run button. Once done, run the next cell of requirement. So far, we have initiated the stable diffusion diffuser, but there is no model present in it. Therefore, in the next block, select the model you want to load and then click run to execute this block. Currently, there are a few options available. I'm going to select version 1.5. Once clicked on run, it'll take some moments to complete. Once done, skip the next block of control net and move to the last block. Now you have to run the stable diffusion on a server. And so that only you can access your stable diffusion, you must choose an easy username and password. Enter the username and password and click the run button. Once done, you'll be able to see connected written in green color and a public URL. Click on this URL to open your stable diffusion loaded with your chosen model. And that's it. Now you can do anything you want in the stable diffusion and have not to worry about the laptop getting heated up or GPU getting fully consumed, all these processing resources will be coming from Google server. When asked, enter the username and password you just specified in the last block. So now let's test run this stable diffusion to see how fast and efficiently it is working. So I've entered this prompt over here and a negative prompt as shown over here. I'm going to select sampling step as 60, which is quite a lot, and the height as 768. Also, I'm going to increase the CFG scale to 11 and batch count to 5. Furthermore, the sampling method I'm going to select is LMS Keras. And that's it. Now, if you have used this thing on your computer, you must know that how much computing power this is going to take. But let us see that how quickly it goes on Google Lab. So it has started working. And you can see that how quickly it is moving. Within no time, it will generate five images. Overall, it took around less than one minute for me. So here are the five images that were generated. So these look quite good. Okay, so now let us just test it on another prompt. So I have pasted another prompt, which I already had. And I'm not going to change the negative one, but I'm going to change the sampler to DPM plus plus 2M Keras. And I'm going to increase or decrease the batch count to four and in decrease the CFG scale to seven as well. That's it. Let's click on generate and see what we have now. So once again, you can see it is working very fast. So here are the four images which we have generated now. You can open these up. These are simply marvelous. 
Now I'm just going to use one more prompt and just to check that how much processing this Google Collapse server can handle. I've chosen the sampling method as Euler A and I've increased the sampling steps to 150, which are quite a lot. So I'm going to click generate. And over here, I should mention that sometimes this UI malfunctions. And it malfunctions in a way that it is working, it is running, but it doesn't show anything. For example, what has happened wrong? If you go back to the code tab where you have written a code and you can see that what is happening over here. You can see over here that something is running, but it is not being shown over here in the web UI page. So just wait for some time or you can switch to the other tab to see that how much completion you have achieved. And after that, once the percentage over here is complete, you can switch back to the stable diffusion and you will see the final results. So it is completed over here. So we can switch back and just give it a bit of time and the images will load. So these images are just great. So fellows, now you can quickly run stable diffusion on any PC using Google Collab Server within minutes and explore the artist that is hidden in you. If you like this video, kindly subscribe to our channel and keep following us for more great videos. Thank you and take care.